Tristan Montgomery tried very hard to keep his attention on his best friend, James Sinclair, and not on the scandalous appearance of Lady Caris Davis on the opposite side of the ballroom. The merest glimpse of her, standing like some semi-clad goddess at the top of the stairs, had been enough to stop his heart and send a hot flare of outrage. It was definitely outrage sweeping through his body. He'd spent a large part of his 27 years perfecting the art of ignoring her, of appearing cool and indifferent to her inflammatory presence, when his entire being prickled with awareness whenever they were in the same room. He gave in to the temptation to look again. Who was she supposed to be, for God's sake? Lady Godiva? Her dress was as sheer as a whisper, as if Botticelli's Venus had stepped out of her giant shell and donned a chemise made of spider webs. She might as well have been naked for all the coverage the material provided. Her breasts, shimmering with silver-flecked powder, rose above the daringly low neckline like an offering to the gods. What were her brothers thinking to allow her to expose herself in public like this? There wasn't a man in the entire ballroom who wasn't wondering what it would be like to inspect those incredible curves at closer range. Tristan fought the urge to push his way through her throng of admirers, throw a cloak around her near-naked shoulders, and bundle her out into his carriage. Quite what he'd do with her then, he didn't know. Spank her for her foolishness, probably. Someone needed to take the girl in hand. Heat rose on his skin, and he curled his fingers into a fist. No, no spanking, bad idea. Touching her would be a terrible mistake. He wouldn't lay a hand on her. He would simply give her a strongly worded dressing down. That was such a stupid phrase, dressing down. What did it even mean? She was only wearing a few scraps of muslin. If she dressed down any further, she'd be naked. Tristan, are you even listening to me? James' amused tones finally penetrated his racing brain. Sorry, I was just marveling at that red-haired hellion's nerve. He made a disapproving clucking sound with his tongue. Her brothers give her far too much leeway. Yes, it amazes me that she and Francis are such friends. They're complete opposites, 